Police say a Laurel County man was high on meth when he crashed his truck, injuring two people. 28-year-old Anthony Allen is charged with DUI, and it turns out this isn't his first offense. Tonight, we're learning more about Allen's criminal history. Phil Pendleton also has the 911 call from the passengers involved in the crash. A violent crash with three adults inside this little Ford pickup truck. He went right over that mountain. Police say 28-year-old Anthony Allen was behind the wheel. Two women were with him. We're on the way back up on our cars. My niece is on his half ripped off. All of her ribs are broke. All three were hurt and then hospitalized. Police say Allen was extremely high. As we continued our investigation, we determined that the driver had apparently been using meth all day. Police say he never should have been behind the wheel in the first place. He was also driving on DUI suspended license, second offense. Police said their initial search showed two previous DUIs. But I did some digging and I found so much here in the Laurel County Judicial Center dating back 10 years. There is no way that I could tell you everything about what Allen is either accused of doing or been convicted of doing in one single news story. He was even convicted in 2012 of his fourth offense of DUI and sentenced to four years. But he was paroled 11 months later. He violated parole a year after that, released a month later, violated again, and completed his sentence this past January. Thursday, police say he was back to his bad habits. He's apparently not learning. I think that he'll learn this time. Only time will tell. In Laurel County, Phil Pendleton, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. And tonight we've learned Allen's criminal history goes back 10 years. His juvenile records were sealed.